what is up you beautiful people hope you're having a fantastic day so today i'm gonna be reacting to one piece episode number six we're almost done almost done you know it's netflix so it's only eight episodes but they have been jam-packed in the last episode we saw that zara was sliced right through his chest he passed out right at the end it was a different kind of episode that kind of delved a little bit deeper into people's backstories we saw the reasoning behind why general garp does what he does why he still believes in the marines kobe sort of had this enlightening moment where he heard what general garp said but it just made him want to be more basically be more of a marine as he said you're starting to grow into that outfit and then we also met sanji which is really cool so they were eating at the barati the barati air whatever you want to call it the chef named zef zoro has passed out let's see what they do to actually help him and let's just jump straight into it let's not waste any more time also if you like this type of content hit the like button subscribe if you want to see more and hit the notification bell so you stay up to date and all that good stuff let's go okay so here we have it now don't they say you shouldn't move someone who's been injured And I think this is a realization for Luffy right now because this is the first time one of his friends have actually gotten seriously hurt. Think about it. Baradi, yeah. I'm really not hungry right now, Nami. Not for food. Maybe one of the customers is a ship's doctor. You know, because that's the thing. You're the pirate captain. So you've got to be the one who, like, what are you going to do? And things are great when it goes well. But what are you going to do now that something this terrible has happened? And I think he's he's got that realization. Oh, my gosh. Joe oh, boy. <laughs> Okay, okay, so this is the Sanji intro. So what was the duck one from before? Or the little chick? Maybe someone can let me know. This guy's filleting a yellow tail. Oh! What, so is he gonna use the... I don't get it. Oh, fish skin goes on top. <laughs> what type of witchcraft is this? Okay, interesting. Limbo. Whose room is this in the um, in Going Merry? Pretty amazing. Oh, so Mihawk is sitting at his desk. I thought this was a conversation we might have privately. Privately, but he's the guy who literally will just eavesdrop. Now he's probably gonna find out that it's his grandfather or Luffy's his grandson. That's gonna be amazing. Maybe your grandson will be the one who <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Now Kobe is obviously gonna have a fit. Man, they destroying me with all this food prep. So I, I made sure I ate before, but still. But I really gotta get the water Ichi monkey ready for us. The what? Ichi manji. <laughs> you see, his mind is literally just scrambling right now. Okay, so we got a bit of backstory. East Blue C9 years ago. Blood stained. Dude's literally carrying oregano. So the first thing he called him was little eggplant. Oh, the storm crushed them. I always wondered how that happens, right? The ship gets sunk and then you just wake up on the beach. You know, the body just somehow survives and you just end up on the rocks and you wake up. <laughs> Thing is, this type of situation would, would create a massive bond between any people stuck in it, you know? Obviously, if you survived it or not, but if you did survive it, think about it. You almost died with this person in the middle of nowhere, hoping that a ship would pass by. So, of course, they would be at each other's throats, but now you're working in the same kitchen afterwards, years for years later, you're gonna have that respect for each other. Oh, and you can't even, like, where would you go? You're gonna get smashed against the rocks. That would be the strangest place to get strand. Because, I mean, I could imagine that you couldn't even make a fire. And any type of bread, I mean, would be soaked, right? 
Okay, so there's. Oh my goodness, that's Bultong. That's a, that's Bultong. Wow. I mean, they're all in South Africa, but wow. I, I can recognize that from anywhere. Best cured meat you'd ever eat is Bultong. Not that beef jerky stuff. Is that not salt water? Oh no, it's the, the water from the dew. And in the rain as well. Day 25. Oh my goodness. Stuck. The sunburn, the water, the hunger. First of all, just the, the dehydration would probably get you at that point. And then you don't even know if you're hallucinating at that point. Damn, just one piece of moldy bread. But what other choice do you have? You gotta eat, you know. Gotta get those calories up. And where is Zeph this whole time? Oh, is that the last food? Wow. Day 50. Are you crazy? At this point, like I said, you'll probably be hallucinate. Oh my. Okay, now they're just. Now you're just trolling. Day 70. You'd be. First of all, I mean, I know they can't actually show it, but you would be so skinny probably at that point. Because that's, that's what will end up happening. Now you'll just. You'll be so crazy that you'll just start murdering. If I remember correctly, isn't it that he didn't eat any of the food the whole time and then he gives a second bag to Sanji? Oh, yes. Oh, he gave him all the food. Wait, are you. Did he eat his own leg? Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh. Ah. Oh. And with a, a rock, not even a knife. Wow. That one hits you right in the field. Someone use a limb to save your life. I'm sure they kind of too. Oh yeah, because of Shanks. Oh, so that's basically what I was saying. Is that, you know, it's all good to go off on your quest for your dreams. But you're going to get hit with a lot of obstacles. And that's going to bring out the true nature of who you are. So I think that's what Luffy, that's what was going through his head, you know. Sometimes when you are in charge, you have to make the tough decisions. Oh, wow. Die in my bed. Okay, so it's her room. Not everyone gets to follow their dreams. Man, this episode is heavy. I'm getting teary-eyed in this episode. I don't know what's going on. You can definitely see how it's building to the end of the season. Oh, is that all long? His music is so good. He's got some of the best music so far. Buggy had good music. Along has great music. Oh. Let's <laughs> all enjoy our last meal together. Last meal. Nami. Never heard of him. That's not for me. I wonder if the final fight is going to be Luffy versus Along for episode 8. Well, how do they know that he has the map, Nami? Obviously, Buggy said it, but, you know. But she's obviously knows that she's hiding herself. Sure, it will. Ah. <laughs> Let's go. Which one of you is Arlong? You know, I was expecting someone bigger. So was I. <laughs> so was I. Old friend helped me track you down. Hey, a straw hat! Herpes? Herpes. <laughs> I've got eyes and ears everywhere. His ear was in the hat the whole time. That is so trippy. You're gonna have to fight me for it. Let's go. Okay. Oh. What have you done, Zeph? Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, Sanji's got the kicks. But I mean, oh, but that's the thing. Their skin must be so hard, you know, of the scales. Like, what can a normal human do? 
Oh, there you actually see the rubber. Crazy. Let's go, Luffy. You got a lot in your tank. That was signs of the Gatling gun. The people must be like, what? who are these freaks? So far, I have to say, Arlong is probably the coolest bad guy. All right. Oh, if he goes, he can't go in the water. That would be over. The seawater. Okay. There it is. All along pirates. Why waste your time killing a devil fruit eater? Let the sea do it for you. Wow. Who's that? Sanji. And first of all, anyways, I'm I'm gonna start picking on Usopp. I actually like the Usopp in this in this show. I wonder what the announcement's gonna be. Oh, so he's going for the kill now. The kill shot. Wow, that beautiful restaurant in pieces. And didn't his leg get broken as well? Yeah. Your cooking is for shit. <laughs> wow but it's the truth though I, like i swear this show motivates you so much to actually go after your dreams and i mean not just the show but obviously the anime but just lights that fire up in your chest you know staying here is quitting <laughs> that's a big one <laughs> on his chest he's obviously still injured man oh man man wow get nami and how did did they fix the the front of the ship where Garp threw the cannonball through? All oh, right, Sanji's gonna join them now. That's gonna be amazing. Wow, I'm actually so amped to see the the crew form like this. <laughs> Let's go, Sanji. Let's go, man. Let's go. I'm so amped. Not just a cook, but a survivor. I mean, what he said, 85 days or something? He survived on a rock. The bag of food. Oh, so they didn't fix it. Little eggplant. Hey, Sanji, eat your feet dry. Goodbye, Zeph. I owe you my life. Thank you for putting up with my shit all these years, old man. I'll never forget you, Zeph. Man, who's cutting onions in here, man? So we're, we're going after Nami, but how are we going to find her? Tell someone who does. Who? <laughs> oh, he's still buggy. Wow, wow, wow. What an episode, man. I won't lie, I, I teared up a few times in that episode. Just, I'm actually a little bit speechless. And, but that's what it's about, you know? <sighs> you know, that's that's the whole thing, right? You, everybody's got their dreams. Everybody's got their goals. But they don't really matter if you don't go and get them, you know? And another thing is that, you know, we saw Luffy come to that realization that, wow, it's things can fall apart at any moment in time but how are you gonna be and i think this could be used for any person in their own life like we are all the captains of our lives right and the people that we surround ourselves with that's sort of our crew and when things fall apart you know it's like how are you going to be as the captain of your life you know are you gonna fall apart so that's i think that was the realization and now you see you saw the change first he was completely messed up and didn't know what to do and now you see he's he's got a plan he knows exactly what to do and so these moments actually make you stronger you know if it doesn't kill you it makes you stronger to use some cringy saying but wow just very emotional episode very rich we also got to see a fight it wasn't honestly it wasn't the best fight between Arlong and Luffy but it's nearly done though you know two more episodes left I will be reacting to those as well but that's gonna be it for me not really much to say but really 
really good episode really brought the emotion out of me and um and yeah so if you like that give it a like subscribe for the rest of them seven and eight and hit the notification bell if you want to see me reacting to all of this and obviously once this is done i'll be reacting to more i'll be moving into anime but then you're really gonna see me get emotional because it's a whole different story but thanks for watching and i'm out peace in a bit